Yo, good morning everybody. Greetings from Istanbul, Turkey. So today is now May the 5th. It's a Thursday. It's about 8 in the morning right now. And I'm looking at the market already, of course. For the next two weeks, I'm not going to be on nearly as much because of moving and settling in. So probably two to three weeks maximum. More so part-time. Caught a few really good trades yesterday that we're going to get into right away. But more importantly, let's talk about Bitcoin and how we were at a very close bottom ended up rallying the entire market because we broke out of this major major bearish trend right here so if we take a look on the weekly just jumping right into the technical analysis what we see is this massive channel that has been forming for the past 441 days now so for about 15 months total beautiful trend line supports hits it many times here here and here here, 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 and there as well. So we can expect that a possible bounce was more likely going to happen. Okay, so we also, on the weekly here, we found these regions being a support. That's the close, open, close, open, wicks, wicks. So we got a support that's been trending since February the 21st here based on opens and closes. And it also hits the channel support here beautifully here as well. So because of those two reasons alone, it acted as a very strong support. So let me give you a really good example of something that we see. That's a wedge, all right? So this right here is a wedge shape that we often see in crypto going to the upside. Whenever you see something that wedges to the upside, like that, okay, you got to ask yourself, are you going to short something that wedges? Okay, it's called an ending fifth wave diagonal or leading first wave diagonal, something like that perhaps, okay? Will you short this? The chances are you'll most likely short it. So then you also have to ask yourself this same question as well, where there's something that goes like this, and this would be kind of an ending fifth wave diagonal. This one is known as a rising bearish wedge. The first wave is often the longest, the third wave is second longest, and the, and the fifth wave here is the shortest. So when you see something like that, chances are you'll short it. Just like on the downside as well, when you see something like that, okay? I'm just giving you an example. When you see something squeezed into this, this is called a falling bullish wedge. When you see these types of patterns, they tend to be fairly bullish because this one here breaks to the upside when it breaks outwards, and this one here breaks to the downside when it hits the peak of this apex. So this apex is a critical place for people to enter a short position. And this place here is a critical place for people to enter a long position. There are two ways that you can enter these positions. The first way would be at the top if you're incredibly aggressive. Would be the hit of that channel, or not the channel, sorry, the resistance up here. And then it falls to the downside. The second one, this one's more aggressive because you don't have confirmation yet. The second one is to enter on the break. The break as it comes to the downside, when it breaks these touches, when it breaks the support, you enter the short. This one is the exact same way. You can enter in the bottom right here, which is more aggressive because there's no confirmation and there's a chance of it actually just falling right through. And the second way to enter is just like the first one where you enter it on the break right around there. Okay, so remember that, keep that in mind really important to know how these structures are set up and these are very profitable and high probability trades and just to let everybody know i've got a great promotion that i'll be i'm not sure exactly when i'm going to start hosting it um but it's a really good promotion that i decided to help out people because not everybody can afford that 1050 dollar package since well first of all there's a limited amount and then secondly um there's sorry there's a, only 10 slots available per month and secondly it can be out of reach in terms of price for many people so i decided to create another package here so that that 1050 package came with a lifetime discord membership it also came with a course version 2.0 all of the lessons all 53 lessons and it also came with the book that i'll be sending out on may 21st my my hard copy course version 2.0 second edition book so this one here is going for 375 it's actually a great package you're saving 57 percent it's normally 875 dollars 
you're getting it for 375 and what you get is you get six months of access to my private discord trading and education group spend six months with me and you're gonna see your skills moon that i can guarantee i can't guarantee that you're gonna be a successful and profitable trader but what i can't guarantee is your skill levels will be elevated to something that you didn't know that you had just because of the way that i interact with the group the way i educate as well it's a great group to be in it also comes with a second edition course version 2.0 book mailed out to you after may the 21st and you also get 12 lessons from course version 2.0 12 the 12 of the most important ones in my opinion you're gonna get the chapter one and two longing shorting uh, the, basically, you can read all about it here. Candlestick analysis, supports, resistances, moving averages, advanced RSI, advanced MACD, Fibonacci retracement extensions, Elliott wave theory laddering, and the important one is the crypto loom scanning. How to find the most volatile coins to trade, how to quickly identify overbought and oversold regions, and especially how to set up iMacros to automatically scan crypto loom. That's my favorite one. And you can read about what the Discord group is here as well. So normally, this is $375, or sorry, $875. I'm doing it for only $375. So if you're interested in this, send me a DM, because I'm just still testing it right now, and I might get a few early people in. I don't plan to launch this until probably the end of May, when I'm fully settled, settled into the house, or probably first or second week of June. But I think this is a great opportunity. If you see this video, jump into it. I'll definitely try. I'll definitely get you in. Not try my best, but I'll, I'll definitely get you in. I think I'll be getting about five to ten people in the group. We're reaching a maximum capacity again, as always. I keep a very tight ship. I want to make sure I have enough time to go to everyone and give them adequate attention and 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 time to ask me proper questions where I can get to them. So send me a DM, guys. This is a wonderful package, and I think you'll be really happy with it. So back to this uh, Bitcoin here. So here we see what we see on Bitcoin on the weekly is we see this channel that we admit, right? We don't see a lot of detail here on the lower time frames, do we? Not much at all. But if we go to, for example, a four-hour time frame, or the daily rather, we see a lot more. Okay, on the weekly we didn't see much, but now on the daily we see a lot more. We see that it hits this lower trend line that I mentioned, open, close on a weekly. This is just open and closes. That's all that they are. Everything else are wicks and bull trapped regions of 3%. So we bounce above this. I'll make it yellow so you make it visible. Yellow line. And then we also start wedging. See this wedge? It looks really nice on the daily because you're getting interaction, 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 interaction. Four points of interaction. And the four hours really is really where it sets it apart though, in my opinion. And the three hour as well. Okay, the three hour especially. I know on a three hour doesn't look the best because you got you got this going out, going out, going out, going out. The best way to draw these types of of um resistances is look for a time frame where wicks will poke out of it and the bodies make sense. So you here you're seeing the bodies and the wicks pretty much average where you get a perfect line like that and the 12 hour you won't get it because there's a lot poking out of it so keep going until you got all the bodies literally all the bodies inside and all the wicks on the outside that's how i draw my supports and resistances the best way so here you're seeing that this is the this is hitting like basically the wicks are some wicks are inside but the wicks are outside wicks are outside so you're taking the average of the best possible way so on the three hour what you see is you see this wedge that's forming into here nicely okay i know people might be thinking wow it's just you know it's a line how could these lines possibly cause a breakout well they do because everybody sees the same thing so you see this wedge in here and then it hits that yellow line again pretty much one two triple bottoming and then it launches outwards it launches outwards seven percent but it was enough to cause some coins to do some crazy gains like ENSU did 20%. I called waves really hard in my group. I was up 4.7K on it yesterday alone. You don't really need to take hundreds of trades a week. You just got to find out one good trade, focus on it, and it can yield some immense profits. I average anywhere lately because of being part-time, five to 10,000 a week of profit, which everybody knows because I'm pretty active and open with my profits. Even if I took only $5,000 of profit a week, that's still 20,000 a month 
which is still a quarter million a year when you think of it like that. And you only need to work literally one day to make that profit when you grow your skills enough and your balance and your bankroll grows proportionally with your skills. Okay, so Waves, I took a massive gain on it, in my opinion, considering I was only playing $30,000 positions. It ended up going up 37% already. That's a huge amount for Waves to be breaking to the upside. Everybody's incredibly happy with Waves. It made some monstrous gains. I had an entry of 12.3. I took my profit early because um, I don't hold my positions overnight. We got some other coins as well, like Ape, that ended up going up a monstrous event amount here of 28%. So because Bitcoin ended up breaking out of there, we ended up getting huge rallies with other coins. So it's always worth your interest and your time to be looking at coins that have these types of sloped resistances. You can see here that 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 waves has this sloped resistance, okay? That's the best way that I've drawn it in my opinion because you're taking the average of the biggest sample possible. And my entry was the breakout right here. So just entering on a huge breakout there for 30%, that's huge. So a lot of these coins follow the same type of rules where you're looking for a slope type of resistance that's breaking to the upside. So now that we see Bitcoin break to the upside, we gotta ask ourselves, is it going to continue? Well, the good news is this, the MACD for the daily officially crossed over, but the question is for how long will they cross over for, right? How long will they cross over for? And how high can this possibly go? And are we actually in a bear or bull trap right now where we're gonna get continuing prices to the downside? So those are really important questions to be asking. So I just want to leave you guys with that note that summarizing it, we broke out. We broke out really nicely. We broke out to the high side on many alts that were carried. And whenever Bitcoin does, for example, a 7% move, Alts tend to follow that 7% move multiplied by a factor. Some of them will multiply by, they won't move nearly as much as BTC. Some of them are going to move 20, 30%, like we've seen for Ape and for Waves and for ENSU. And Zill also moved a tremendous amount as well. Zill ended up moving one of the bigger ones, okay, and still going. Zill ended up going up about 48%. So these are coins that you can bank on that, that are rallying just tremendous amounts here. And Zill followed the exact same thing pretty much as well. Where when this broke out, when this line broke out right there around 70, right? That's where we broke out to the upside and just had some gigantic rallies. So always remember to keep these trend line resistances in check. If they've broken down for a long period of time, when you see this trend line resistance form, there's a high chance as it falls down enough that it's going to eventually break to the upside as it smashes this resistance. So I just wanted to talk about how Bitcoin rallied and some of the expectations I have right now for Bitcoin is I expect it to pretty much stall here for a while, okay? This this sets some resistance, this first one, the second one, just go based off of price action. I think it'll break out of here to be honest, but I don't think it's gonna break out of, out of here yet, the 40,700 range because we're getting some sort of resistances here, right? And then of course the next one, just play it one price action at a time, guys, one resistance at a time. And the ideal scenario would be for Bitcoin to hit these higher ranges, to hit all the way back up to 70, $80,000 range, like make a new high in the channel, conform to it, that would be great. So what we see on the weekly is that the weekly wanted to downtrend, but it's starting to slowly recover. We got about three days left in the weekly, and there could be a massive rally, a huge rally. If the bullish momentum from the daily can cascade over to the higher time frames on the two day, on the three day, on the four day, that we can have a really epic run that could begin soon. So I just wanted to leave you guys off with that note. Definitely send me a DM if you're interested in this. I accept both credit cards and also crypto as well. So I hope to see a lot of people sign up for this, but I've only got space for about 10 for now because I'm doing a trial at testing period just to see how this, how the signups and everything work. And I'll most likely launch it the end of May or the beginning of June. It's always important to invest in yourself. You guys are always seeing me do really well in the Discord group, in the actual, um, in Twitter as well, right? I share all my losses in the Discord group. I talk about my losses as well, especially learning lessons and why 
I lost and what I learned from it. Because losing is so important to develop your skills further. More importantly, I want to make sure I help you guys get to the level where I know that you can be. But you have to put in the skills. You got to invest in yourself. A lot of people say, I've only got so much to spend Right? Why would I want to buy your course when I can start trading and make money? Well, the truth is you're probably going to lose it all if you don't have some background. Okay, You got to invest in yourself. You got to learn from the people that are successful. Don't learn only from people that literally post YouTube videos or, or a technical analysis. They're not traders. There's a big difference between a successful trader and just a good technical analyst. Right, A successful trader has the mindset uh, and they can, they're emotionally disciplined and they can control the risk. Being a technical analyst means nothing if you if you can't even you know if you can't even trade properly, right? And always 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 try to learn from multiple people, not just myself, right? But learn from people that are credible, that are established, that have been in the game for a long time. I'm definitely one of those people as well. So I hope that you guys are interested in this. So I'll see you soon for hopefully the next bull run, and we're gonna make something really good out of this. Bye now.